Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruce Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's time for Bruce Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here's Drez and Big Nate. Either that open went really smooth, it was damn near silent, or uh, I've really messed this up. Could be silent, but deadly. It is Bruce Day Tuesday, brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg. Uh, we are celebrating day late, dollar short, but, you know, figured why not. Uh, National Cereal Day. I am a big fan of cereal. I'm also a big fan of beer, so I figured we could try, try being the main word, of uh, <laughs> combining the two. Uh, I popped perhaps maybe the one beer that really does kind of fit the theme. Uh, I That's just, why we're late. I just opened up Stout Chocula, which obviously an homage to Count Chocula, uh, a fantastic cereal. This is from Ingenious Brewing Company, whom I'm not very familiar with, actually. I believe they are out of Texas. Um, but uh, Humble, Texas. Okay, yes, brewed this says this is an imperial milk stout oozing with chocolate and tons of marshmallows. A deliciously scary part of a complete adult breakfast full of beer and chocolate. This one is coming in at 10%. Whew. So we're starting off big on uh, the cereal it's edition a, of Bruce. That's a, one way to have breakfast, I suppose. We got the, uh, and, and I still maintain this argument, of course, you and I had this discussion off air, is that Without oatmeal, there probably wouldn't be cereal. Well, this is the breakfast stout from Founders, the uh, double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout. Really gets you revving up for your day. The coffee lover's consummate beer brewed with an abundance of flaked oats, bitter and imported chocolates, and two types of coffee. The stout has an intense, fresh roasted java nose topped with a frothy cinnamon-colored head that goes forever. Uh, forever apparently has already passed. If you're watching on video, the... Uh, Head pretty dissipated pretty quickly. It's 8.3% ABV. Founders, of course, knows what they're doing. And uh, yeah, I, breakfast cereal has always been a staple in my house, even as an adult. And I've never really made the segue into what you would regard as adult cereals. Like, eh, don't, don't give me the cornflakes. I want the Lucky Charms, full marshmallows. Let's go. Well, all right. So here's a question for you. I have currently in my cabinet, it's... What about Raisin Bran Crunch? Is that adult cereal? It's almost feel like it's a mix. It's like the in-between. If, if it has a heart-healthy label on it, it's adult cereal. Oh, I don't know if it does. It uh, probably does. Raisin Bran? I don't like raisins, It's not Raisin though. Bran. It's the Crunch. It's much better. Does it still have raisins? Yes. See, I'm out on that. But they're decked out in sugar. I mean, it's yeah. Raisin Bran. So, and... like, well, I mean, that also brings up an important difference. I won't eat cornflakes necessarily but i like the frosted flakes oh well that's so once you put enough sugar on anything i think it's good yeah i mean fr just regular cornflakes and that's the other thing is like they're so thin like they get soggy instantly yep. cornflakes is <laughs> yeah i mean let's go all right let's go down the horn of like the all right so let's let's start with bad cereals i mean there's tons of good ones out there and i like to try them all like that's usually when i go shopping for cereal it's not i don't have go-to's i i'm always because there's Without a question, there's always like five or six that you've never even heard of. They're brand new, and it's like, you know, oh, this is the Angry Birds cereal. like, uh, And it's all the same yeah. stuff usually, but repackaged, and they just redo it or whatever. So I like to try the newer stuff that might catch me off guard. But, but yeah, as far as bad cereals, man, they're really few and far between in my, in my book. Cornflakes might be up there as one of the absolute worst. Yeah. Even just plain Cheerios I can dig on. I, I do like plain Cheerios, but there, there's another That's one. That's a heart-healthy that, one that you like, said you were But I'm on. really guilty. I'll, I'll explain why uh, I can get away with the uh, regular Cheerios. Cover them in sugar? I add sugar to it. I'm the worst. I do that with that and uh, Rice Krispies. Like If I have Rice Krispies, there's definitely sugar oh, in the bottom yeah. of my bowl. You or do. if I can get my hand, hands on like some sweet and cream, oh, well, yeah. Well, and when they started, I assume they still have these, but when they started doing the Rice Krispie Treat cereal. I haven't seen it in forever, and that was going to be my next point. That's one of my if, favorite series of cereals of all time. That was really, really good. And in fact, so here's the thing, man. I was obsessed with cereal as a kid. And one of the best days of my life 
And I don't know how this came to be. I don't know if I just looked like a serial kid, but I was walking through the mall with my mom. I might have been, I don't know, nine or ten. And we got stopped by some people saying they were like doing some surveys or whatever. And I got to test, and I don't think it ever actually came out, but it was awesome. It was essentially the Rice Krispie Treat cereal, you know, like that we've come to love over the years, but like Cocoa Pebble, like Cocoa Rice okay, Krispie okay. Treats. Okay, hold on. So I've that was, never seen that. It, it never, I don't and think it ever came out. that would have been. It was a thing. The like ideal cereal for me. Yeah, I gave it high high praise and numbers, yeah. but I guess it wasn't good enough that uh, it never came out. But it was like, and it was so cool. It was like just this blank box that just had like, you know, I don't remember what the test name might have been or something, but like it didn't have nutrition facts. It didn't have anything. It was like a gray box that I was, we were able to take home and eat. And I feel like when they do those marketing things, they like prey on children. I, I had a similar experience, except for mine wasn't near as cool because... That, that's pretty killer. I got to see the trailer for Star Wars The Phantom Menace before it came out. Oh, I was like, okay. was it like seven or eight at the time. And uh, we were going to see a movie with my dad, and this guy pulls us over to the side. And dad didn't want to go because, well, Stranger Danger is very much so a thing. Also, why does this guy have this like weird hooded like video screen? What the hell's going on? But I convinced my dad that it was okay. There were plenty of people around, and it was a trailer for the next Star Wars movie, and... The weird part about that is I was so excited about like that opportunity that my family has just assumed that like I'm all in on Star Wars ever since. You just like really seeing trailers not. before they come out. It's like exclusive experiences. Yeah, I would have been just as thrilled, if not more, with uh, Rice Cri- Cocoa Krispies treat cereal. Yeah, uh, that one should have came out though, man. I mean, that being said, I mean you do love, uh, you like, you gotta like the the chocolate cereals that make your the milk like chocolate milk. I don't know if you're. If you're like me, and like I would assume and think most people, it's one of the best parts is drinking the sugar-flavored milk, milk afterwards. Yeah. At 100%. And I, I fall in the category of being lactose intolerant. Oh. So it's the worst, but I just fight on through. You got to. Because, God, nothing beats. like a, Particularly like at the end of a long day. And yes, I, I do eat cereal for dessert. So, do you do normal milk then, or do you do you do like no, I do soy or almond? Or so you I fight you through. Just, like, you just power. You just like this is the if, way. It if is, I watch my it. dairy intake, I'm okay. So I just have to like really be careful about it. Um, but yeah, whole milk. And, and mm. right now, I've got Captain Crunch berries in the mm. pantry. We got one of those big, like, huge bags, and that's been my every night for like. So the you're last talking month. about oops all berries or just the regular with the, yeah the regular. You got to have the regular crunch. I, I yeah. don't. Get too much of a good berries. thing. It's like it's almost like if they release just like a marshmallow yeah. lucky charm. Like that's it's, Well then you start you to realize how it. bad those marshmallows actually are. Yeah, no, you need the you need the offset. You really really do. But one of the things that drives me crazy about cereal now, and I really feel bad for the youth today. They quit putting toys in the cereal. That was like one of the coolest funnest things about getting cereal was like I mean, you're in theory, you know, it, you know, in our household, it was supposedly whoever poured the bowl that got, you know, but everybody knows you, you were digging through and yeah. hunting for those cereal toys, which were cheap and stupid, no. but fantastic at the age of 11. And like now there are compromises. You have like an activity sheet on the back of the box. Like, I don't want to do a maze. Give me some weird little trinket that's like going to break in two minutes. Yeah. And I don't, I mean, is it because digging through the cereal like were parents complaining about that or the kids were only getting cereal because of the toy and that pissed them off like why why do we not have toys I, I can see several anymore? reasons and as ma- much as I don't want it to be true I'm pretty sure it probably is is some idiot kid who probably was going to do something oh, stupid choked anyway on the choked on uh, it I mean that's they're usually huge and then like a big yeah you can't plastic. miss them but I'm sure I'm sure someone was like yeah that's a choking hazard well, and Everyone's I re- afraid of getting sued. I remember at some point they kind of quit putting them in the cereal. They put them like just between the bag, bag yeah. in the box, which also takes the fun out of it. Yeah, like you need to get to the you got to earn that. Yeah. So okay, I just also remembered another thing that I did as a kid. I can't remember. I remember my example, but I feel like there were other ones where if you just collected six proof of purchases, then you'd send off and get a toy. And I remember I did that with kicks. And I had I had to power through a, a number of boxes of kicks, and I got like a like a cassette player. 
It had like kicks on it, and it had like a spooky story cassette tape that came with it. Do they still make kicks? I don't know, but they were not that that's, good. That's they a were throwback. Kick, you had to have the berries. They were the uh, seltzer water of cereal. Like, yeah. There was a little bit of flavor, but it was yeah, not, not not an abundance. Not the best. Uh, if you go life, you got to go cinnamon life. Regular life, that's no good. Where do you fall on checks? Checks? All right, so here's the thing. I, I would dig on checks. Speaking of awesomeness, one of the sweetest games I ever played was like there was a checks video game for the PC. And I remember playing the hell it out of It came with that. the box. Yes. I do remember that. That was a great game. Um, but checks checks were okay. Um, I think I was, I can't remember now, because I know there's corn and rice and then wheat. Oh, there's the honey nut honey checks. Nut. That's those are the best. That's the way to go. Those are, those are a more recent release, you know, probably just in the last 30 years <laughs> or 20 years or something. But, um Oh, man, there's just so many. Waffle Crisp, I think those are long gone, but those were one of my favorites. What was it? The Honeycomb Cereal. Do they still make that one? I think they still make Honeycomb. Waffle Crisp was sort of like a, almost like an offshoot of that. You remember Waffle Crisp? Yeah. Yeah, that was, no, that was delicious. It, it seems as if my cereal experience is less healthy than yours because, like, I, I've got the, in my repertoire, Cookie Crisp was always big in our house. Cookie Crisp, yeah. The Lucky Charms, the Captain Crunch Berries, and God, I feel bad for my dentist because I'm sure they had their work cut out for them. Mm, man, there's just so many. There's just so many. Yeah, I mean, Lucky Charms, I think, is one of the OG best. Well, you got to be on, like, nobody, nobody's hating on Lucky Charms. No. But I've done it right for so many years. I do know for a while they did have a link on Amazon. It may still exist where you could order a bag of just the marshmallows, and it sold horrendously. Yeah, well, that's because it's, that would be terrible. What, do you, what was your thought here? Mm. It's not like Oops All Berries. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're they're not that good. But just that, I mean, you, you have to have, like I said, it's the balance. You got to have the balance. Now, did you have any uh, uh, rituals associated with your cereal other than the digging for the prize? Well, I, when I was young enough and small enough, I would eat my cereal on the counter of the, the kitchen counter because we had this little itty bitty TV that would swivel, it could swivel, and it was like up on the corner. So under the cabinets was the TV, and I would hop on the counter and sit Indian style, you know, or sorry, crisscross applesauce whatever uh and just sit there and watch you know nickelodeon all day on the on the little little itty bitty tv S- p- quite possibly uh, i guess it was probably about this big so what is that a five inch screen Something so like you that. know you had to sit yeah. real close to, to really be able to watch it see we didn't have that that kitchen tv and we had a rule of no food in the living room because well uh, i think every parent sort of has that rule so my stepbrother and i were big fans of like skirting the rules and uh i guess at the time it would have been the nintendo 64 so we would route it as far as the cords would allow away from the tv and then the controllers to the dining room table because they were adjacent we would sit there not in the living room eating our cereal playing mario party and that was like an every saturday morning thing that's a good day that's a good good way to i don't know if the parents were impressed or angry or just glad we didn't wake them up because they wanted to sleep in on a saturday but Never got in trouble for it. Hey, that's a win-win if I've ever heard one. We are celebrating National Cereal Day here on Brews Day Tuesday. I'm enjoying my stout chocula. You got your breakfast stout over there from Founders. Uh, how are you feeling about it? I mean, I know both of I have had that. Both you and I have had that beer before. Um, I can't remember what I've rated it, but uh, you go ahead and uh, you want to give us a, a rundown on your thoughts. For me, it's one of those beers like you always forget how good it really is. Um like, I see it time to time in the store. It's like, oh, I should probably pick some of that up. But, I mean, really genuinely right now in this moment as I'm drinking it, I really should next time pick some of it up because it's a very solid breakfast stout. Of course, uh, the coffee and the chocolate go really well together, and the, the oats kind of make it a little smoother than you would expect. Everything balances really well, and uh, it hides the fact that it's an 8.3% ABV extremely well. It, I mean, if we're going to untap it, 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 it's high for me. It, it's mm. a four point five. Wow! All right, and we are going to untap it because that's what we like to use on Brews Day Tuesday. Free beer app. You can track your beers, track what your friends are drinking, what you liked, what you didn't like, and also you can friend us. Dres Drinks is my handle, and of course, Big Nate Danger sits opposite me here in the Bear Studio. Um, as far as it goes with this stout chocula, it's as advertised, man. Milk stout with chocolate and marshmallow. And what did it say on here? Uh, tons of malls, complete breakfast full of beer and chocolate. It, it's 
this it does it is reminiscent of breakfast syrup. It is so sweet. This is like one of the sweetest stouts I've ever had. And 10%, I mean, you, I guess that makes sense. You know, you put a lot of sugar in there, you're going to have a high ABV and it's going to make it sweet. Um, ingenious, it very well might be appropriate from Ingenious Brewing in Humble, Texas. Never heard of these guys before, but uh, great marketing. I mean, you can see on the can, if you are watching on the Facebook or the uh, YouTube channel, it is the perfect knockoff. <laughs> where it's just uh, off enough that they probably, hopefully, won't get sued yeah, they're for they're skirting. The, they're definitely um, towing the line there. The Stout Chocula looks like he's sitting there enjoying a beer, as I am as well. I'm not a big stout guy, but you bump up the ABV, you sweeten it up for me, and you make it taste less like coffee and more like a treat. Uh, that's right up the alley, man. This beer is delicious. It's probably a four... I'm with you, maybe a four and a half, because this is so sweet. Like I w you, you can't drink a six-pack of this. There's no way. You'd be on the floor, and you'd have a bitchin' fucking freaking uh, hangover the next day, because it would just be so gnarly. But, uh, yeah, give it a try next time you see it. Stout Chocula. I'd say, yeah, four and a half, man, right off the bat. So we will uh, take a break, and we'll come back, and we'll have more cereal beers. I'm going to use the, the air quotes there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to... This could be a stretch. We're going to stretch it as, as thin as we can here on Bruise Day Tuesday. Stick around.